This is Zechariah 9 and verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass, and upon a colt, the fall of an ass. Kal halal Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem Rukwakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations to the brothers on down teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune into these video epistles. It's gone a bit quiet around here. I thought I'd try and take advantage and do another quick lesson. I've called this one Prisoners of Hope. That's what we are. Prisoners of hope. We're looking forward to the coming of our Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai, meaning he's, he's our Savior, our Redeemer. His Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Father, is Yahweh, meaning he is. And we are looking very much forward to the coming. It's laughable to the majority of people. But as they're laughing and finding it a joke, we're praying and beseeching and the Heavenly Father will boost up our faith, build that hedge around us, make us ever so stronger in our firm belief. There's a scripture that says, those who held stiffly to the name those are the ones who are going to benefit. Let's get another scripture here. Ephesians, I think we're going to go to next. Or we could read a few more verses here before we move from this Zechariah. Maybe we'll return to this towards the end. Zechariah 9 and 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Who's that? That's, that's us. Like the bywords that they're calling us, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, that's who we are. We are the true Israelites, the children of the Heavenly Father, the ones who he loves and set us apart, separate with those laws, statutes, and commandments. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem, behold thy king, Yahweh Shai, cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation. He's bringing it lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the fall of an ass. And I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem, that's the northern and southern kingdom, and the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall speak peace unto the heathen, and his dominion shall be from sea even to sea, and from river even to the ends of the earth. As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. Let's hold that one there and get another scripture. We're, we're prisoners of hope. What are we hoping? We're hoping to be saved. Saved from what? Saved from the destruction that is coming to the earth. Where next? Ephesians 3, verses the start of 1. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Yahweh Hamashiach, for you Gentiles, as the Israelite foreigners who are at Ephesus, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of the Most High, which is given me to you word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in a few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Hamashiach. This mystery it's just not accepted, it's unknown to the majority, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. See, there's that St. Amos, the 3 and 6, or 3 and 7, the Lord will do nothing but he reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So here we are, the mystery of this salvation. Is come forth. We now are prisoners of hope in that salvation. And John 10, verses 
24, then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt if thou be the Messiah? Tell us plainly. Yahweh I answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. This is red letter, Yahweh is speaking. But ye believe not. Why not? Because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any, any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. See, he has a firm grip on his own. And all those who are outside of this truth, they're jumping up and down, they're yelling, they're screaming. Whether they're in the churches, they're in these halls, they're in any so-called place of worship but they're on the outside and they can't grasp the mystery that Paul is speaking of. These are the hopeful elect that belong to the Heavenly Father and Yahushai is making it clear here he's got a firm grip on them. This is the hope that we have that we are a part of this hopeful elect slated predetermined foreknown, predestinated to make it. That's what we're hoping for. We're next, Isaiah 49, starting at 13. Isaiah 49, we start at 13. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains, for the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, hath comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her suckling child, that she should not, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget. Who's speaking? This is Yahweh speaking. He's saying here, Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Thy children shall make haste. Thy destroyers they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee. That's, he's going to get everything away from us. Let's just read this again. This is Yahweh speaking here. This is wonderful this so we're prisoners of hope but we're not hopeless we're hopeful listen to this this is isaiah 49 and verse 16 behold let's look pay attention i have graven thee upon the palms of my hands thy walls are continually before me that's to say we're always in the memory of the heavenly father and even when he hides his face from us temporarily we are etched in his mind and here it's saying in the palms of his hands what a wonderful opportunity we have knowing that we are the people and that those bastards in our land they're not the people we are the people and we have hope so we refer to ourselves as the hopeful elect. You see, this is a wonderful to consider. Hebrews 1. Let's read the first few verses here. The Most High, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, and in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whose name is Yahweh We know the names. We don't fool around with those names. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels as he hath by 
inheritance obtained a more excellent name. We know the name. We're not going to stop saying it. More excellent name than them. For unto which of the angels had said, For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I forgotten thee, none of them. Just Yahweh Shai, he's that first fruit. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And it's in that son we have hope. It's in that son that we expect to be redeemed. It's in that son that we are prisoners of hope. Where next? Let's just finish up by going back to Zechariah. 9 and 12 turn you to the stronghold ye prisoners of hope today do I declare that I will render double unto thee when I have bent Judah for me filled the bow with Ephraim and raised up thy sons O Zion against thy sons O Greece that's the Edomites and made thee as the sword of a mighty man and the Lord Yahweh Shai, it shall be seen over them, and his arrow shall go forth as a lightning, and Yahweh power shall blow the trumpet, and shall go with whirlwinds of the south. The Lord of hosts shall defend them, and they shall devour and subdue with sling stones, like David, and they shall drink and make a noise as through wine, and they shall be filled like bowls, and as the corners of the altar. And Yahweh, their power, shall save them in that day as a flock of his people. We belong to him. For they shall be as the stones of a crown, lifted up as an ensign upon his land. For how great is his goodness, and how great is his beauty. Corn shall make the young men cheerful, and new wine the maids. Kal halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Praise his holy name. I just wanted to jump back on here and do a quick lesson because it's in this word, this truth, that's where there's eternal life and it's one of the titles of our power, a king, the Lord Yahweh Shai. It's in the word, the word of truth, that's where there's eternal life and it's in that that we are prisoners of hope. Shalom until the next one.